Paul here for Tech Freak TV, hope you're doing well. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool intro using Movie Studio Platinum 12. This is, this is the icon here. It's so obviously you're going to need to have the software installed. I've got mine opened already and as you can see I'm just working off the blank canvas. So now the first thing you're going to need to do is click on the Media Generators tab and over here on the left hand side you want to click solid color now you can choose any of these colors but for this demonstration i'm going to go for blue so i'll bring in the blue what you'll notice then is that it will open up another dialog box but with that one you can just exit off there we go so with this one you don't actually need to do anything so we'll x that one off the next thing you're going to want to select is color gradient, second one down. And over here you want to select the one that says elliptical transparent to black. So if you left click, drag it down and drop it in. Again, okay, now this one we do need to make a couple of changes. So as you notice in the very center there's a cross here and then you've got a number one and a number two. You need to left click, hold the number one and drag that into the center and then you need to drag the number two into the top most right hand corner and then X that off. Now what we want to do is come over here to the right, scroll up so you've got the third box and in this one you want to select elliptical ring. So same again, click it, hold it, drag it down and drop it in. Over here you'll notice that there's a number one, a two and a three. We're only concerned with the number two, so if you select the number two what that does, it allows you to change the color. So as you can see in both windows, it changes it on the left, but it gives you a better view here with the background on the right hand side. So let's select a nice color. Maybe we'll go for a nice, let's try a nice green. Okay, and then X that off. So now what you should have at the moment is a, a background, elliptical transparent to black, and you should also have an elliptical ring. So you just want to change the order of these. So the transparent to black, if you click it on the left hand side, hold it and drag it upwards because we want that one to sit on the top. And then you should end up with the elliptical ring and then the background on the bottom. So as long as you're happy with this, this is what the, it's going to look like. The next thing we need to do is drop in some, uh, some video boxes. So here we've got video tracks. Basically, you need enough video tracks to cover the amount of text that you're going to be writing in over here. I tend to drop in three video tracks and that allows me to text at the top, at the middle and at the bottom. So all I'm going to do now is left click, again, insert, left click, insert, left click. So now I should have one, two, three video tracks and then under that I've got the elliptical transparent to black. Okay, so now what we need to do, in this box, right click and you want to insert text media. Once you open this up, you get the dialog box and basically it shows you the text in this preview window over here and obviously this is where you can make the changes. So start off with, I'll highlight it, I'll always make it bold, make it central and I might reduce this from 48, maybe let's try 42 click on this side and highlight it again. Let's have a look, we'll change the text to Varney. Okay, so as you can see on here, from here you can move the text around. So what I tend to do is move this text to the top and keep it as central as I can. So I'll just move it over a little bit that way. Once you're happy with it, then you can let it go. And now I'm gonna put in here, um, oh, I'll change the text one second. Let's do that again. Highlight that, click that, we'll go with Varney, left click there, highlight it again. So now I can put in the name. So we do Tech Freak TV. If you're happy with the Tech Freak TV and where that is, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is highlight the text and change the color. So here you can see text color, click on the white box. Now what you've got here, you've got the bright colors at the top, in the middle, they're a bit faded, and also you've got your darks pretty much black at the bottom. So click at the topmost corner, pick a color that you want to go with, or maybe I'll go back with the red. 
Um, yep, so if you're happy with the red, click anywhere on the space. That's now changed the text to red. Then what I tend to do is if you go to outline, what this would do is put an outline around the text. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see that the outline color is white. I'll probably change that just to show you how to change the color. So now you can see the more I scroll to the right, the thicker the text here becomes on the outline. If you want to change that white color, click on the white box, click so you get the brighter colors. So let's say you want to do yellow outline, click anywhere on here. And so now what we've got is Tech Freak TV with the yellow outline, okay? So what I'll do, I'll scroll that up. I might pinch that down a little bit more, maybe 36. Okay, so we'll leave that, click on X. So now you can see in the preview window, you've got the Tech Freak TV. Underneath that box, we're going the second one. The video track same again right click left click for your text when this dialog box opens up the same as before highlight it make it bold make it central change the text so it's the same which was Varney um, I'll reduce the size of this one maybe to 24 so right so now what we're going to do highlight that again if we go to let's say make cool text so I'll type in here Make cool text. And the third line, I'll probably have something like with Movie Studio. So, okay, so what you want to do is keep that pretty much where it is for now if you need to change it. Uh, what you can do now, scroll that down. If you wanted to select the same color, so you've got the same color for all three, at this stage, then what you'd want to do is if you close this box down, over here on your first box, you've got generated media. If you click that, that brings you back into your original text box for the word Tech Freak TV. Here is the color code. So if you highlight that and then copy it and then close this box down, same again here, generated media tab, click that. Then what you can do is highlight the make all text word, highlight this and then paste. So now, you've got the same color here. You might think it looks slightly different, but that's only because obviously this is on a lighter blue background, whereas this is on a darker background with obviously the green going around it. So same again, scroll down, click on the outline, then you can bring that down. The outline's still white, jump across to where you think that you'd like it. This one, I'll probably leave it white, so leave that as cool text there. When you're happy with it, close it down. And the last box, same again, right click, insert text media. Now what you want to know, you'll probably notice here is so you can see that's overlapping. So we don't want that. So we're gonna bring that box all the way down, somewhere near the bottom, highlight the text, make it bold, make it central, keeps it all uniform. We'll reduce the size of this maybe to 36. Um, we've got to change that to Varney, so we've got the same text style, there we go. And in here we'll put with Movie Studio, M-O-V, Movie, oh, S-T-U-D-I-O. Okay, so with Moody, Movie Studio, um, I might just reduce that ever so slightly. Let's bring it down to 24, there we go. All right, so we've got to scroll down here, highlight that, right click, paste. There we go, so that's changed the color. Come back up here, and what we need to do now is just put an outline. What I'll probably do is change the color of the outline. It's the same again, there's your outline bar. Move it to as far as you want. And let's change the color of that one. Click the top, remember, for the brighter colors. And maybe, Let's go back for maybe a yellow type. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so if you're happy with that, X that off. So obviously now what you can see, you've got top, middle and bottom boxes, Tech Freak TV, Make Cool Text with Movie Studio. So that obviously, it's there. If I click play, nothing much is gonna happen. It's just static on the screen. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do on the first box at the top, there's three icons. If you click the top icon, Event, Pan and Crop, what we're gonna do now is just insert one keyframe to make the text flow. So as you can see on this box, you've got icons or squares dotted all the way around. 
If you take the right hand square and drag it towards the center, you'll notice that on the right hand side in your preview window, the word will start to disappear. So what you wanna do is bring this into the center so the word's disappeared, okay? And then over here, maybe on the first line, click once, that enters your first keyframe. And then if you drag that back out to its start position here, then what that will do, if you X that off, that will bring the, the word Tech Freak TV into the frame, okay? So if we go back here to the beginning, let's do the same again on the second one, make all text. So on make all text, click event pan crop. Same again, you wanna drag this into the center until those words disappear. So back a bit, oh, forwards a little bit, there we go. So now the words disappeared. Enter your keyframe. So I'm just going here round about the first, round about the first line. You can tweak it here, move it left and right if you needed to. Grab hold of the box and bring it out to its start position, and then left click. And last but not least, the last box, the third one with the with movie studio. Click the same event pan and crop. Right hand corner, bring that into the center so the word disappears. Then enter your first keyframe. Obviously the lower down the scale here you put it is the longer it takes for that text to come into the screen. So you don't want to have it too long, too much of a delay. So I sort of normally find the first um, first stroke is normally good enough. Bring this back out to its start position. X. Okay, so now what you'll notice now, if I bring this back to the beginning and click on the play button, you notice all the words come in together, but we don't want that. We want it to flow a little bit better. So if I go back to the start position, what you want to do then is go to the very top and then stagger these words. So if you stagger them, it delays how they come in. So I normally go around about half first, just to see what that looks like. So I'll take that and I'll play it and see. You'll see Tech Freak TV comes in first, then make all text, and then with Movie Studio. So now if I pause it there, you'll notice that we've lost the top and the middle sentences. And the reason for that here is if you notice, this is where the text finishes for the top one and that's where it finishes for the middle one. You want them all to finish here at the end. So all you need to do is hover over the right hand side of this text box, left click, drag it to the line. Same with the middle one, drag it to the line. So now if I go back to the start position, you'll see that they'll start staggered, but they will all finish together. and then it'll all disappear at the same time. Okay, so obviously that's how you can insert cool text for your, for your videos. You can do the same on the ending as well. So if you wanna make an intro, you can do the same way. Change the colors and the text. So that just gives you an idea how to make cool text. If you like the video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Any comments or suggestions, leave them down below and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye bye.